here with MuseArts to welcome you to our world of a thousand colors. Today we're going to do a three-part activity. First, we're going to draw the artist's hand. Afterwards, we're going to draw the artist's eye. And finally, we're going to do the artist's mind. And this is three ways of expressing our inner artist and how our eyes, how our hands, and how our minds look. Express through color, line, and shape. But before we get started, we're gonna do some quick community guidelines. So first, remember that we welcome imperfection. Everything you make is perfect as it is. Don't worry about erasing, about starting over. Just embrace what you've done. Second, don't worry if yours doesn't look the same as what I'm doing on the screen. There's no right or wrong way to do things, and you'll see at the end of every activity that there's multiple ways that yours can look as well. Number three, remember that this is online. So if you need to take a pause, or start it over, or rewind, or stop for a moment, feel free to do that anytime. Feel free to explore beyond what you're seeing on this video. Take advantage of this notebook that you have and go crazy with your designs. Um, whatever you want to explore, you can go further than what we're showing you. And finally, and most importantly, have fun. So let's get started. To make our artist's hand, we're going to start with our notebook. We're also going to need a pencil. And make sure it has a sharp tip, but not too sharp. You don't want to hurt yourself. You'll also want it to have an eraser. And you'll need colored pencil crayons of all the different colors. To get started, we're gonna grab our notebook and we're gonna open it like this. Stretch out your hand in between the pages and spread out your fingers. Make sure your hand feels comfortable. You're gonna grab your pencil and you're gonna close your eyes. And while you close your eyes, trace the side of your hand onto the paper. And as you have your eyes closed, really feel that connection between your mind and your body. Feel the pencil between your fingers and how it moves across your hand. And try to remember what your hand looks like. Draw the outline on the paper. Now open your eyes and take a look at your hand. It looks great. And if it's a little bumpy, don't worry, because when you add color, it's all going to be part of your artist's hand. Now we're going to grab our colors and we're going to start filling it in. What color is the artist's hand? When you look at your skin, what color comes to your mind? Today, I feel like a light blue, so I'm gonna make my hand that color. Think about your inner artist. Mine is a little bit yellow. And you can play with any pattern, any texture that comes to your mind. Does your hand have shadows? Does it have nails? Are there hidden shapes inside your hand? To draw the artist's eye, we're going to need our notebook, a 
pencil with a sharp point and our oil pastels. We're gonna start by practicing the shape of our eye. So grab your pencil and draw that oval. And don't worry about erasing. Right now, we're just gonna try to practice the shape. So we draw one half circle on the top, another half circle on the bottom. And you can do this many times. We're just gonna practice drawing this oval shape. There is no right or wrong way to draw this eye. Some eyes will be a little rounder than others and that's okay. Others might be a little smaller, a little wider and a little narrower. Once you feel like you've gotten the hang of drawing this shape, we're gonna move on to our drawing. So turn the page, and for this one, we're gonna turn our notebook on its side. Now, just like we practiced, we're gonna draw the top of our half circle and the bottom. And don't worry about erasing any lines. Everything adds character to your artist's eye. So when we look inside our eye, we see that there's a big circle and inside of it, a smaller circle. We also have two little circles on the sides, a little tear duct, and now to draw our eyelashes, we're just going to do little curves. Inside our eye, we're gonna see different triangles. So we're gonna split the circle into different sections, just like this. And what's missing from our artist's eye? Color. So we're gonna grab our oil pastels we're gonna start filling it in. Each one of these sections can have a different color if you wish. I like yellow and orange and green. It can be all your favorite colors or just colors that you think will go together. Now we're gonna draw the artist's mind. And for this activity, we're gonna use our notebook. And we're not gonna use a pencil this time. Instead, we're just gonna use our oil pastels and our pencil crayons. To get started, we're gonna open our notebook again, just like we had it with the last activity. And now this activity is all about connecting our hands to our mind. So we're gonna pick one color to get started and we're gonna close our eyes again. And as we close our eyes, we're gonna start to draw. So which color did you pick first? I picked yellow. And in my mind, I'm seeing the yellow tracing lines on my white paper and I'm picturing it. <gasps> and it's okay if you fall off your page you're just following your thoughts and your associations with this color. And when you're
you're ready, you can open your eyes and you can pick the next color. So I have dark green. I'm gonna close my eyes again and start tracing the dark green. And how does it interact with the yellow? Does it go fast or does it go slow? I'm gonna open my eyes again to switch color and this time it's a dark blue. And how does the dark blue interact with the green and the yellow? How does it feel on your paper when you have your eyes closed? What path? is the color inviting you to take. You can open your eyes every time you switch a color, but make sure you close them again when you start to draw. You can draw straight lines. You can draw curved lines. You can draw any line that feels right with this color in your hand. Now you can go back and forth between the pastels and the pencil crayons. And keep in mind, the pastels will be a darker color. It'll be more intense. And don't forget, we're drawing the artist's mind. What does that look like? A combination of color and shape, of light and shadow, of textures and patterns. <laughs> 